back on the Emmy again. And I gotta get everything opened up because I haven't even stepped foot outside yet today. So, battery's about to die because this is the Sony camera. It was full when I turned the camera on. Really not pleased with the batteries on this. Luckily, I've got this guy. Let's see if we can do this before the camera goes. One handed. Hold on a sec here. Hold on. Oh, we got it. <laughs> I like this little uh, battery pack. So, can't say that I agree with all the politics of the company that makes it, but hey, whatever. Yeah, we're gonna get back on the old Yimmy there. We're gonna bust that rear cover off. Take a look inside there and change the gear oil. Because uh, that's one of the few things, other than getting this thing tuned right, that I have not done. Come on, you can do it. I'm going to go through and clean grounds on this thing. I, put, I did not put them back here. What did I do with them? The cover and bits and pieces that hopefully I left them. Oh, yeah, we're in here. Did I lose the parts already? So, there we go. Alrighty. New fancy cover, just like we did on the front. Brand new gasket. I run a bead of uh, sealant around both of them, mainly just to hold the gasket in place, but... Yeah, gonna go get you set up on a little, uh, little baby tripod underneath, get this cover popped off, get the thing drained and cleaned, and hang on, here we go, let's go see how bad things look inside there. Alrighty. Well, I just found all the bolts from the old cover that I didn't clean up, still sitting here. In the weeds. Make sure we keep them aside. And some of the gasket material. I didn't do a very good job cleaning up last time. Somebody's been in here once before. I don't see the tag that would normally be hanging off these things. And it's got RTV around the edge, so. It's not leaking, that's a good sign. one. I did take a little skin off when I break the edge. I may want to just spray around this thing. Come on now. That's another tight one. Jeez. Maybe if I grab a break a bar with a little leverage instead of a little shorty here. This has 
much more to it. Holy cow. Ah, ooh. That twisted my wrist off. Pretty tight. I think we started with this one, didn't we? Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah, I think this is the uh, last uh, last fluid change this truck really needs. Everything else is brand new from uh, putting her all together. Gonna do the lazy bit. Get the little impact driver out. Uh, where's the? There's the little half inch shorty. We're not going to get this into a little catch every single bolt, but as you know, before I go much further, I need to get my container under here before I start spilling oil. on this kit, I think I do. Yes. Probably not impact rated, but still work nonetheless. Somebody's been in here before, so. Oh. <laughs> My little pin that keeps the everything locked together just vibrated out. Just have to keep an eye on that, I guess. So I just drove the truck last weekend around the block, so I'm not going to worry too much about mixing it up, and we're just going to flush it all out anywho. I don't know if we can just... Okay. Well, I'm 
not. Don't use your wrist as a hammer. That's not what they're designed for. I got something else. We're not gonna get in there. So we'll just grab a screwdriver and a mallet like you're not supposed to. Shoop-loop. There we go. Drop and dirt my eyes from the skid plate here over the fuel tank. Container catch up a little bit. But, uh, there's the plug right there. Okay. Well, it's, I mean, looks cleaner than, definitely cleaner than the front axle. It was pretty black, so this stuff's been changed. Yeah, the transfer case on this truck has grease pencil on it, paint pen markings like a junkyard would do. So it's probably got a junkyard transfer case. I think the blue jimmy, I know the rear end, that was a 12 bolt. Rear axle out of a 70s pickup. And the transfer case on that one was replaced as well. I don't remember if the front axle was on that truck. But... So, yeah, teeth are looking pretty good. Can't rotate this one, but I don't see. I got some sludge in the bottom here, but it's actually there were some little bits of uh, some chunky stuff on the front coming out. This doesn't have that. It's just sludge. So there's nice sharp edges on the rain gear. It's got little grooves on the very top surface from the initial machining. I have to get a flashlight and look at the pinion, but I don't see anything on it, so. No, I think it's all right, because these trucks, unless you lock the hubs in, the front end doesn't spin, so the front Differential probably has very little use on it. I just I got the impression this truck was probably hardly ever put in four wheel drive. Just when I got it, how clean it was underneath. There was no built up off road type dirt. Just on road dirt. Well, I've been working on cleaning up the uh, mating surface for the cover. Got everything flushed out pretty good. I need to hit it again. Just make sure there's no dust and debris in there, but uh, I don't know if you're seeing it, but it's looking pretty good. I mean, I guess I don't see any chunks missing off the teeth. I can't rotate this one because uh, well, it's connected to the transmission and transfer case, and I'm on a fairly steep driveway, so I'm not going to try to jack the back end of this thing up have it roll off the jacks or something so chances are it's pretty good there were no chunks in the bottom of the case so we're gonna call it good so do a little more cleanup on this thing a lot of blue paper gasket left but it's slowly coming off a little thick on this side yet we need to work on but we're getting there Alrighty, back to work. Up and situated. Put one bolt in. And 
get another one in. One thing, come on, there it is, that I need to look into is the factory diff cover and a magnet in the down here for catching metal chunks. This one does not have that. I think that there's, I'm going to see if I can get a uh, magnetic, uh, what you want to call it, cap. Not that this thing is going to see tons of high torque off road beating. When these are put together, I guess they're about the same. Pull this one back out just to give it a once. Over a look see. They are the same. Okay. They just look different. Oh, back starting to hurt today. Weather's starting to change. Crawling underneath the truck. Got a few more of these put together. This was actually a job at my at the Boeing Company. Putting stack ups together. And putting everything into kits. Mm -hmm. Two more. Bada bing, bada boom. Now everything looks real good in there. I was pleased. I was kind of expecting to see a little bit of wear. I don't know, maybe this rear end had been rebuilt at one time. Oh, here's the fun part. I don't know if this is going to work. Yeah, it's not going to... I'm going to have to modify this somehow to accommodate for the brake lines. Go ahead and put the bolt in anyway just to torque everything up. I think what I'm going to do is I'll go to the hardware store. There's this lip that goes all the way around. And this bracket up here, I don't know if you can see it, that holds the brake lines. The little T fitting. The line comes from the master cylinder and then it tees off to each wheel. It doesn't fit over that lip. I'm sure the factory cover, it's laying over there but I can't see it. The orientation, but it's probably got a relief there where it's a lot shallower. I think what I'll just do is get a bunch of flat washers to make up that gap a longer stainless steel bolt and that can be put back in its original location I guess we can use this guy for a few weeks.
dirty. So cross pattern here. Torque. They're all that was a little bit loose, but we're all nice and snug now. Okay. Now I gotta get all the fluid out of the garage and get things cleaned up a little bit here, and uh, let's start filling her back up gear wall and both the diffs on this year truck. Now I'm stuck. Alrighty, well that's going to do it for this one. I'm going to clean up. Get things uh, put away. And uh, we got the diffs taken care of on the Jimmy. I think those are the last two fluid things I needed to uh, to address. So, poor old truck. Uh, next, we're going to be working on well, Red 84 over there. Same thing, front and rear diff covers, or diff fluid. I'm not going to put different covers on that one. But, uh, no, I kind of like the uh, the stainless on the old uh, crusty axles. Not really going to see it, but same with the front. That orange oil pan under there, kind of cool. So, there you go.